What's up everybody, my name is Zach Pascarello and in this video I want to tell you how I made $12,000 in one month as a bookkeeper. So I own Harrisburg Bookkeeping. I started this business in 2020. I've been doing it for almost three years now and I've been running my business full time, very successfully. And I've been making a lot of videos talking about my trucking company and I wanna start sharing more about my bookkeeping business because I know a lot of you are interested in starting a bookkeeping business and I've been really successful so I just want to share what's worked for me what I've learned and if you want to schedule a consultation with me there is a link in the description you can schedule a 30 minute or a one hour meeting with me and we can talk about anything your business bookkeeping taxes trucking anything you want to talk about I'd be happy to help but in this video I want to talk about the details specifically how I made twelve thousand dollars in one month as an online bookkeeper. To put things into perspective, I started my business, I launched my business from day one with no experience in October of 2020. So for reference, for timing, this month that I made this $12,000 is going to be May of 2021, which is about seven or eight months after the very first day that I launched my business. So the business is still relatively new. First of all, I wanna start by saying this was not easy. So in the beginning, I was doing a lot of research. I was listening to podcasts. I was watching YouTube videos just like this one about how to start a bookkeeping business and everybody made it seem like rainbows and butterflies. Everybody made it seem so easy. You can lounge at the pool. You can chill at the beach and do your bookkeeping. Everything's going to be perfect. You're just going to get these clients. You're going to make all this money working fully remote. It's not that easy. I wish it was, but I promise you, if you go into your bookkeeping business with that mindset, you will not be successful. You are going to need to put in work. But with that being said, it's definitely possible, which is why I want to start making these videos because I've been in business for three years. I've been pretty successful and I want to share what's worked for me, what I've learned so that I can help you. Okay. So first, this was not easy. And second of all, starting a business is all about marketing and sales. A bookkeeping business is no different just because you are working with other businesses, just because you're doing accounting and bookkeeping, it's more analytical. It's more data driven does not mean that you do not need to market your business. You does not mean that you don't need to sell your business and cold call people and DM and create social media, digital marketing content. All of those business fundamentals remain the same even for an online bookkeeping business. I cannot stress that enough. If you are not interested in cold calling people, if you are not interested in putting yourself out there and creating social media content, it will be more difficult for your business to be successful because that's how I was able to launch my business. That's how I got my name out there. Nobody knows who you are. If you haven't started your business yet, if you don't have an online presence, nobody knows who you are. Nobody's going to be knocking on your door, calling your phone, asking you for bookkeeping if they don't know who you are and if they don't know what services you provide. So I cannot stress enough, the way I got to make $12,000 in one month, the way I got all these clients was by putting in the work. I legitimately worked eight hours a day, sometimes 10 hours a day, cold calling people, making social media content, DMing people on Facebook and LinkedIn, sending emails to prospective clients, doing research. I seriously put in a lot of work and you're going to need to put in a lot of work. I cannot stress that enough. I see so many people on Facebook and YouTube talking about, hey, you know, start this bookkeeping business. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be so easy. All you need to do is just get a laptop and get clients and you'll make a living. You can quit your full-time job. You, all that is possible but you're going to need to put in a lot of work. I just, I cannot stress that enough. So I'm gonna keep on saying it. In the very beginning, any second that I was not doing actual bookkeeping in QuickBooks, I was, I was selling, I was marketing. So I was either doing bookkeeping in QuickBooks for current clients or I was trying to get new clients. That's the mindset you're going to need to have if you wanna launch a successful bookkeeping business like I did. Now, not only do you need to get a client, but you also need to deliver A plus customer service. And that was what scared me so much because I was still pretty new. So I did a good job of marketing. I did a good job of selling. I got all these clients, but like, wow, now I have 15 recurring monthly clients who pay me for their bookkeeping. Now I'm absolutely terrified of losing these clients. So 
if I wasn't selling, if I wasn't marketing, I was doing everything I could to deliver the best possible quality to my current customers because you want to keep clients and you want your current clients to refer you to other businesses because so many business owners know other business owners. So if you do a really good job for Jane Doe across the street who has a jewelry store, I guarantee you she's going to refer you to her electrician, to her plumber, to her real estate agent. She's going to her property manager. Like she's going to refer her really good bookkeeper, her really good tax accountant to her other business owner friends. So it's really important that you deliver A plus customer service to your current clients. With that being said, you will lose clients. I have lost clients throughout the years, mostly due to just us parting ways because maybe they hired a full-time in-house bookkeeper, maybe they went with a larger CPA firm because their business was growing too fast and they wanted just, you know, a big an accounting firm to handle their bookkeeping or maybe they went out of business. Like I've had so many different situations where I've lost clients, but then you gain, you know, one, two, three clients every single month, you lose one or two clients every single month or maybe, you know, you go a month without losing anybody it all kind of evens out. So don't stress out too much. Just focus on getting clients, focus on doing the best possible job that you can do, A plus customer service to keep your current clients and you'll be fine. As long as you're putting in the work, as long as you're being honest with yourself and your customers, you'll be fine. Okay, so now I wanna talk specifically numbers. That's, that's my other frustration with seeing people talk about their business on YouTube or Facebook. Like everyone talks about how they made so much money or they did so many great things, but not a lot of people talk about the actual numbers to back up what they did. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be fully transparent with you. Obviously, I'm not gonna give out my client's information, but I'm gonna talk about real numbers with you. So I, in the video, in the headline of the video, I said I made $12,000 and that is 100% true. And, and I'm gonna tell you what made up that $12,000, how I got those clients and how much they paid. So I offer two kind of different services. First of all, I do monthly current bookkeeping. So like if you call me up and like, hey, I need bookkeeping for this month and next month and like every month moving forward, cool, I can do that for you. It's usually like $250 a month and I can do your bookkeeping in real time. That's awesome. That's like monthly recurring revenue subscription styled invoicing. That's great. I love that. The other thing I do is I do like catch ups and cleanups of previous years or previous months. So people who have maybe haven't filed their taxes in a couple years, they haven't done any of their bookkeeping. I can also do that, which is also great because that's usually a lump sum of transactions, which means it's usually a big paycheck to do somebody's like an entire year worth of bookkeeping. So that's, I got a combination of both in the month of May, 2021. So first of all, I'll talk about my catch-ups, cleanups, whatever you wanna call it. So this first client I got through Facebook DMs, direct messaging, or I don't even know what DM stands for, direct messaging, I, I assume. So I sent, I friend request a lot of business owners on Facebook. I find them in local, local business groups. I just find them through searching for people. I find them through mutual connections. Whatever I could do to friend request and connect with local business owners, I probably did it. So I did a lot of that in 2021 and this particular business owner just so happened to have not filed their taxes for like the past two years. So I did an entire cleanup. So I did an entire cleanup for 2019 and 2020 and they paid me $3,000 to do two years worth of bookkeeping. So that was a pretty big, so 3,000 bucks, 2019 and 2020, I did all of their bookkeeping. And I got another client through doing cold calls. So I went through like Google My Business pages and I looked up just business owners. Sometimes I would look up restaurants, sometimes I would look up advertising and marketing agencies. Other times I would look up software companies. Sometimes I would look up general contractors, electricians, plumbers, and I just did cold calls one day for like two hours. And if they didn't answer, I just left a message. And one thing I wanna say real quick about my DMs and my cold calls, I keep it straightforward and simple. There's nothing more frustrating as a fellow business owner to get those catfishing DMs or those catfishing phone calls that are like, hey, how are you doing? Can, you know, what's, what do you have going on? Can we, can we get coffee? Can we grab coffee? Do you wanna meet up? Do you wanna, you wanna catch up on a Zoom call? Like nothing is more frustrating than those roundabout sales pitches. I am straightforward. Hey, my name is Zach Pascarello. I'm a bookkeeper. I do QuickBooks. Do you need any help with your bookkeeping or taxes? No? Okay, thanks, have a great day. Yes? Okay, cool. Okay, so I got this second cleanup by doing a cold call. So like I said, Google my business page, looked up a bunch of local businesses, 
called for two hours. I probably called 120 businesses and one of them ended up calling me back a couple of days later. It just so happened that he had not done his taxes for the past year. So I did an entire 2020 cleanup for $1,500. And then I also caught him up for the, the first quarter of 2021 for an additional $400 a month for three months. So that was $1,200. So I got $3,000, I got $1,500, and I got an additional $1,200. And then the last cleanup I did was just two months, March and April, and I charged the guy 200 bucks. And he actually found me on Facebook. So I put out a lot of posts, I put out a lot of videos, I interact with a lot of people on their posts and, and their comments. So I just really got my name out there to the point where this guy was actually able to find me on Facebook only seven months after I started my business. So that's why it's so important. You need to have an online presence. So all in all, with those four cleanups, I made $5,900 in one month. Obviously this is, I'm not making $12,000 every single month. This is an exception, but I just want to show you how it's possible. You put in the work and you do a good job and customers will come to you. You'll find customers and you can make $12,000 in one month. Not going to happen every month, but you can make $12,000 in one month if you put in the work and you do a good job. So I got four cleanups, $5,900. Now the last $6,100 to make up the 12,000 were all from monthly subscriptions. I got my first monthly client in December of 2020. And then I got 14 more monthly clients in January, February, March, and April. So I averaged about getting three new clients per month. And up until this point, I have not lost any clients. So I have 15 clients who are paying me monthly. And the monthly fees, I said in the beginning that on average, a client pays me like 250 bucks. It might be a little bit more, but these monthly fees ranged all the way from $100 a month up to $1,000 a month, depending on what kind of services I provide for you and also how big and complex your business is. If you're just starting out and I'm just categorizing your transactions, maybe a hundred bucks, maybe 200 bucks a month. If you've been in business for 10 years and I'm creating your invoices and I'm paying your accounts payable and I'm paying your contractors and I'm reconciling your five credit cards and your three checking accounts, it's probably going to be, you know, six, seven, eight hundred dollars a month. So, I'm going to stop, start from my t start from the top. I'm going to tell you how I got all 15 of these clients. So my, my two biggest paying clients, $1,000 a month and $800 a month were personal referrals. I knew a guy from, you know, a couple years ago and he reached out to me like, Hey, you know, Zach, I see you started a bookkeeping business. I actually have another friend who is in business and he needs help with his bookkeeping. So kind of a roundabout way. It's all about who, you know, personal referral. I knew a guy who knew a guy who needed bookkeeping help. And that's how I got those two top paying clients, $1,000 a month, $800 a month from personal referrals. Personal referrals were always the best. Okay. Another client I got from Facebook DMs paying $500 a month. This was actually the same client who paid me to do a 2019 and a 2020 cleanup. They wanted to keep me on to, to do current monthly bookkeeping. So after I finished 2019 and 2020, I continued doing bookkeeping for them in 2021 and they continued to pay me $500 a month. Now these next three clients all paid 500, 500 and 400 and they all actually found me on Google. So not only is it important to have a Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, maybe Twitter, maybe TikTok, it's important to have all those social media platforms and to post content on social media platforms. It's also really important to have a Google My Business page. Everybody knows that people go to Google first to search for anything. So a lot of people go to Google looking for, you know, bookkeeper near me, you know, Harrisburg bookkeeper, you know, Philadelphia tax preparer. A lot of people go to Google to try to find somebody. So if you go to Google and look up Harrisburg bookkeeping, I guarantee you I'm going to be on the first page, either my Facebook page or my Google, my business page. So these three clients in the past three months, they found me on Google and I've been doing their bookkeeping for $500 a month and $400 a month. This next client also pays me $400 a month. And this was through a cold call. So this was the same client that I did the, the 2020 cleanup for. And then the, the, quarter one, 2021 cleanup for. So he also kept me on as his bookkeeper, ended up paying me $400 a month for his bookkeeping. And that was through a cold call. So I don't really do a lot of cold calls now because I'm, I get a lot of clients from personal referrals and I get a lot of clients from Facebook and YouTube, but in the beginning, you're going to need to do cold calls. This next client pays me $300 a month and I actually got him through Upwork. I 
definitely don't use Upwork anymore. This is one of my first clients that I got. I got them in January. I used Upwork in the very beginning. I stopped using Upwork. I don't know why I stopped. I just didn't really like it, I guess. But I did get one client from Upwork and he pays me $300 a month. Now these last six clients, just to wrap it up, they all pay me between like $100 and $300. Two of them found me on Facebook. Another one was a personal referral. Two of them were Facebook DMs and the last one found me on Google. So that's how I made $12,000 a month doing catch-ups and cleanups, doing monthly bookkeeping. It's not easy. Don't let anybody ever tell you starting a business is easy because I promise you it's not. It's all about putting in the work. You need to know how to sell. You need to know how to market your business. And, you, uh, and finally, you need to know how to do a good job. If you deliver A-plus customer service and if you find clients, you're going to be successful. Use the link in the description to schedule a consultation if you want to talk about your business.